Hey, Heidi Easley here, Texas Art and Soul, and I teach women how to make money teaching paint parties online, in person, and with art kits. And I'm excited to share with you because today I'm going to be painting three different trees, okay? So we're gonna be painting ceramic trees. I know some of you have purchased these from me. So I'm gonna show you a little bit, and I wanna, if you can, go ahead and say hello. Make sure that, um, let me see if I can, Post the comments, see if it'll start showing up. Chat, let's see if it works. Okay, can y'all see my comment? Did it show up? Um, if you don't mind, as you get on, say hello. Let us know. Hey, Angel, let us know if you can see the trees, okay? Um, good evening. Hello, Shannon. Okay, so I'm going to be painting three different sizes. Now, if you've already got your tree for me, which I know a ton of you have, um, first off, I want to say thank you very, very much. Um, hey, Sandy. Hey, Tanya. Hey, Elizabeth. Um, we, hey, Linda. We really, really appreciate your business always. So I just want to say a huge thank you for that. And then I'm going to be painting three different trees and then showing you a little bit of um, ombre techniques as well as, um, let me back that up a little bit, ombre techniques as well as, hey, Terry. Um, let's see if y'all can see that pretty good. Hey, Melinda. Hey, guys. Hey, Mike. My brother Mike watches sometimes. So can everybody say hi, Mike? Because the other day he was upset because I didn't say his name. So I told him I'm going to start all of my lives and go, hi, Mike. How you doing, Mike? What's going on, Mike? <laughs> so um, what we're going to do now is I'm going to paint all three. Um, and I'm going to show you a couple of different tips and tricks. And then if you are already painting one with me, um, again, thanks so much. For those of you, um, oh good, Linda, you've already seen me do the snowman, yay. Um, for those of you that want to purchase a tree, right now we have um, the 13 inch. So this is the 18 inch, but the one that I'm gonna be selling is this style, but in the 13 inch model. So if you would like, <laughs> everybody say hi, Mike, <laughs> he's gonna die, I can't wait to tell him. Um, so if you wanna purchase the 13 inch, again, um, this is probably the last you know, time we're gonna try to sell them because we wanna get them to you so you have plenty of time to paint them, okay? So um, all you have to do is type in tree link, tree link, and then we'll go back later and give you a link so that you can purchase the tree. And so the 13 inch is gonna be $55. So if you want to go ahead and purchase it, you can purchase it by just doing tree link and then we'll go back and we'll uh, I'm going to try to open this. We'll go back and we'll try to, uh, oh, Mike's on here. He said they all love me. <laughs> Mike, we just had like 400 people say hello to you. <laughs> um, they're all like, hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. Um, okay, so if you want to, oh, hold your ears. I'm going to try to open this real quick. So wait one second. And, oh, good. We have Linda, Angelina, Angel wanting the tree link. Yeah, just type tree link. What we'll do is me and my team will go back and we'll give you the link so you can purchase that. Again, like I said, we're, we're um, they sold out of the big ones, the big daddy. And um, that's why I'm like, man, whenever you can buy them, make sure you buy them because um, stuff like that sells out fast. And we have sold out of those mini little trucking trees many times over. We've had to like re-up and make sure we can find them. I'm gonna actually put my hoodie strings inside so what I'm going to do, and I would love y'all's opinion, I definitely want to do a turquoise tree. So, um, oh, good, we have a ton of people that want to buy some. And again, you can come back and watch this training. So don't worry if you're like, you know, what is she doing? You can come back and watch this. I'm going to do a traditional kind of green tree, but I'm going to do a black background first, which is going to seem a little weird. Then I'm going to do a um, turquoise ombre tree. And then I need y'all's help. Should I do like a solid white tree with gold kind of tips or should I go full on gold? And um, they're 55. They're 55 for the 13 inch. So it's like, it's like, it's this style, but it's this tall. So it's almost as tall as this one. And for this one, y'all, I mean, it's massive. It is a massive tree and it comes on a big stand. So that's going to be a little bit smaller than this. It'll be this size. That's the size we have left. So we'll go back and we'll put the link. So just put tree link and they're 55 if you want that one. 
but we sold, I think we sold out of the 11 inch and we sold out of the 18, 18 inch. Yeah. We sold out of those two. It's crazy. Okay. So let me know if you want gold or um, white with gold. Let me know. Are they still hanging out? Oh, dang. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put the, the, I'm going to try not to get naked here. I'm going to put these in here. Dang it. Okay. All right. So I'm pajama on bottom and business up top. I did not want to put on real jeans for this. I hope y'all will forgive me. Okay. So I'm going to do the traditional green and I'm going to be using a Hauser dark green, a festive green metallic, festive green metallic, and then a festive green regular as well as a yellow green. Okay. So I'm going to be using a bunch of different greens. And again, as you start to do yours, there's really no right or wrong way to do this. Honestly, like the main thing you need to have happening right now is I want you to have either your Christmas music on, your favorite music. Um, I love Chris Stapleton and Cody Jinx. I love some Red Dirt Country. Um, have your favorite music on and then have your favorite drink, whether that is a glass of wine. Let us know in the comments. What do you what are you listening to and what are you drinking? And um, whether that's your favorite glass of wine or your favorite cup of coffee. Um, I just had another cup of coffee today, so I am ready to go. So I am ready to paint with y'all because I'm going to be painting three trees and the time it usually takes to paint one. Okay. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Peggy. Hey, guys. Is it Tande? I hope I say that right. Tande? Um, okay, so we're going to do three trees. I'm going to move the bases. The bases are really fun to paint, but I'm going to just move those. Then when you order yours, again, just put in tree link. You're going to get the, the kits with it too, the light kit. So a light kit with all the lights come with it. And then if you want to get clear lights, you have to get those off of um, Amazon. But like you can see, they have some clear inside of it. Um, and I saw a decorating magazine. It was really cool. Um, a decorating magazine, and it was literally almost all. They were just painted in all white, and it was really awesome. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take a big brush. This is like a, a two-inch chip brush. I'm going to use black paint, and I'm going to do my traditional green on the smaller one. So what I like to do is dip it in water and black paint and just get it all over the ceramic, okay? And those of y'all that are like wanting to order your own, go ahead and put tree link in the comments, tree link, and then we will come back and you can, you can, um, we'll come back and give you the, the little link for it in just a little bit. And then you can go ahead and order and we'll be shipping those out this week, okay? We'll be shipping them out this week. So make sure you, um, order it sooner than later so you can get it. Can y'all see me? Is this okay? Okay, Susan sa Suzanne says, love cold smoke scotch ale. Oh, with some skillet for music. Oh, you sound like my brother. <laughs> Tande says, oh, my first shout out ever. Girl, you made my day. Oh, I hope, Tande, I said your name right. Tande Christian, I hope I said your name right. Um, yeah, this is this is a fun day. So you want to have like some good music, whatever that music is for you. It does not have to be Christmas. And you want to just like have some fun. Usually what I do because I'm here live with y'all and I can't, it won't let me play the music is I like to tell fun stories. <laughs> oh, good, Lori, you can see. And um, hi, Britton. And um, let's see. Oh my gosh, let's see, probably in the 18. Oh, Linda, I'm gonna have to read, read all of that. I think it's going up too fast, but something about she used to pray for those bisque. I'll have to check what that said here in just a little bit. If I do miss your comment, I am so, so sorry. And um, I will, I will come back to it. And um, let's see, all day IPA. <laughs> oh, Lulu, welcome. She says, first time seeing you. Um, watching you, abs diet, Dr. Pepper. I'm new, by the way. <laughs> okay. Oh, Dr. Pepper for what you're drinking. 
And um, yeah, my daughter loves Dr. Pepper and Bobby. Bobby loves Dr. Pepper too. If you're new to me, you'll get to know my hubby. He comes in a lot to help me with tech issues and my daughter, Pixie. It's so funny. She's been doing this stuff with me since I was five. Oh, thank you, Suzanne. Um, and thank you for sharing. Oh my gosh, I appreciate y'all. I sent an email on Thanksgiving about how much, regardless if you are, if you paint with me in person, which I know has gone way lower this year, and um, if you paint with me in person or you paint with me online, or you, even if you just comment and share, I just want y'all to know how much this helps my business and how much I appreciate y'all. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do all black on this. This is about to have a green ombre, but for those of you that are doing the green like me, you just wanna get black on here. And then while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and go straight to this one. And I'm going to go to turquoise. So I'm just going to go straight to a peacock teal. This is my first one. Hey, Kenna. Hey, Jody. <laughs> a lot of bourbon drinkers. <laughs> hey, Jody. She says she wants um, one of these trees. So you can order. Just put tree link. Just type the word tree link and me and my team are going to go back and we will um, give you the link where you can purchase. And we only have the 13 inch right now. So the 13 inch is the only option. It's about, it goes to about right here. Okay. So the 13 inches are only option and it's $55. Um, so yeah, we got a lot of um, bourbon drinkers. Um, <laughs> Yes, Lulu. So yeah, just put tree link and we'll come back and we'll we'll add we'll add some information. Okay, so I am doing a little bit of this blue, this turquoise. And then what I'm gonna do is start to bring it down to a little bit of a different color. Okay. So now I'm gonna use this one, which is basically the same but metallic. It's called peacock teal. Oh no, peacock pearl. So I'm just gonna bring it down to that. So I'm just going to take it and start to blend it. And let me see if I can hold this up for you a little bit. Because it's like you can see it okay on camera. But in person, it is so, so beautiful with this color. And something about painting ceramics is just very, very therapeutic. Does anybody get that feeling when they paint ceramics? Especially when, if you're a whimsical painter like me, I'm a whimsical painter where I do not really care about painting in the lines. And so um, this, especially the tree, takes all of that away. Because this is literally like brushing it on there. Hey, Trudy from Illinois. Good to see ya. Ooh, Diet Coke and coconut rum. <laughs> I used to drink that on my beach days. I remember when I was in my 20s, I had a lot of Diet Coke and rum. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, let me know um, what kind of music you are putting on while you're painting your tree. Um, I, For those of y'all that are new to me as well, I'm a huge Hallmark fan. So um, half the time I don't even really watch the movies I just kind of put them on I have a tv in my art studio so it's almost like when I'm working on stuff especially this time of year one of my favorite things to do is um put on either a hallmark movie or some good music and just paint and like just listen to the the movie and while I'm painting or listen to the music while I'm painting so it's, it's just really, I don't know, it's just really fun and relaxing to me, especially, you know, like in Texas right now, it's freaking cold. I mean, I know up north y'all are colder, but our bodies in Texas, we're not used to this. <laughs> we are not used to this kind of stuff. So um, yes, Lauren Daigle, Linda. I love some Lauren Daigle. She is so good. Oh yeah, if you want a tree, Lori, um, just type in tree link tree link and then we will give you the link to where you can purchase one and we'll be shipping them out this week so we know that um people are getting ready for the holidays and excited about doing some projects together and this is really fun too to do with like a 
a mom and daughter or a granddaughter and grand, you know, grandson or, you know, something like that. And then you can keep it every year. That's kind of the fun thing. Like I was talking to one of Pixie's um, teachers she had when she was in fifth grade and she had her ceramic tree since the seventies. It was so cool. She sent me a picture of it. Oh, someone's watching Hallmark. Who is that? Billy and Jean. <laughs> Oh, and Tina said she painted one of those when she was 10. My mom put it out every year. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, but you don't know whatever happened to it. Oh, you'll have to get another one. You'll have to get another one to um to replace it. Yeah, that's the cool thing is if you're careful with them, obviously, they're, they're still breakable. But the great thing about these is that um you can paint it with acrylic and then just seal it seal it with like a Mod Podge or a spray polyurethane. Or if you do a, um, a, what you call it? A gloss paint, like these metallic paints, you don't even have to seal it because it's already gonna dry shiny. So like if I do all of this gold or, I think I already have one all gold. So I think I'm gonna do y'all's idea of white with the gold tips. Um, I just put my hand in here so I can hold it. But yeah, so you can, um, you don't even have to seal it if you do it all metallic, which is kind of cool too. Okay, let's see. Ooh, beef, beef vegetable stew. Rebecca, that sounds so good. Catherine says, watching Hallmark movies now while listening to it, watching you. I asked my daughter if she would do one with me. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, and she could get crazy too. She could do like all different colors all the way down. That would be so fun. Yeah, let me know too if you um if you have painted one before. Because I have found in my ceramic painting days that um you don't just want to paint one. <laughs> what I have found is that you want to paint way more than one. And I have um I have probably painted about I'd say about 10, at least 10 of these trees. And I'm gonna go ahead and paint the bottom so you can see here. And then after this gets on here, then I'm going to go back and show you how to do that green. I think the white one's going to be super fast because I'm doing white with gold tips. So um, I'll show you. And then I'll also show you how I can put the, the snow on it as well. Okay, let's get this on here. Oh, there's that. Okay, you just want to get all the little areas. And then in a second, you'll see why I did the black. That's just a different kind of antiquing technique. And I'll show you how I did that in a minute. Okay, so, ooh, I love that metallic. You can tell the difference when it gets to the metallic. Oh, Trudy says, my grandmother made these trees in the late 50s, early 60s. So cool. Yeah, and you could technically do this with, this is called bisque. So they've been fired once. So you could technically do this with, um, <laughs> this is my days. Every day I love it. And um, you could technically do this with, um, you know, a kiln if you have a kiln. But, you know, because I teach paint parties and I teach people how to make money teaching paint parties, what I have found is that, you know, a lot of times it's hard, especially if you're like us and we're doing mobile paint parties and we're traveling. And it is hard to um, to have the, the kiln and all of that. So what I've been teaching people to do is to um, have it where it's like a make and take. So um, you can actually like still take this with you. So you'll be able to actually paint it at a party and take it with you. So I have a paint party in a couple of weeks. Um, I'm gonna start with the darker first, the darker green first on the bottom. And I'm just going right on top of the black, okay? Yeah, and those of y'all type in tree link, don't worry. We'll, we'll get to you over tonight um, and tomorrow and um, we'll start putting in the link where you can purchase. So. Um, we should have plenty right now. Um, sometimes we do sell out. So if for some reason we sell out, we'll let you know that it's sold out. But if not, you'll get the link. So if that link is active, that means it is available. 
Oh, Karen, thank you so much. You're so creative. My daughter and I love all your creativity. That is so sweet. I try. I love painting. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I love having a paintbrush in my hands. My favorite place. <laughs> and Diana says, I used to pour, clean, and fire my own. I did craft shows back in the day. Diana, oh my gosh. So I took a, a college class one time of sculpting and um, I got to do, a, I made a Simba mold because I'm obsessed with Lion King. And um, guys, if you're doing the, the black first, remember you don't have to get everything because you want it a little antique, right? You want it to kind of show a little bit of the black. Um, but I remember doing that a Simba mold. And then also I remember sculpting out of clay we were supposed to do our portrait like a like a head you know oh my gosh that thing was so hard to do and um and i still like that thing is so creepy i don't know i think i had it and i brought it to like when i was teaching art i think i brought it to my art classes and they were creeped out and i was creeped out it wasn't my best I shouldn't have done it it wasn't my best Patty says, I need to paint mine. And Carla says, I just found your video. OMG, I used to do ceramics, but can't find any sellers. We had a class once a week for about six months or so. Good times. Oh, that's awesome. Well, Carla, if you want to do one, just put tree link in the comments and we'll let you know so you can um, so you can actually purchase one so you can do one. I'm going to bring in a little bit of this dark green with this and just kind of blend it so it has an ombre look as it's going up, okay? So I have the festive green that I'm bringing up. Festive green, I'm bringing it up, bringing it up. And then I'm going to take a little bit of that dark green, just a tad, and just dab it. And again, this is another reason why I love this style of ceramics. <laughs> because I can have so much fun just dabbing away. Then I'm going to get a little crazy. I'm going to go to that yellow green. And you're going to start to really see the ombre come to play here. Okay. So the ombre. And for those of y'all that come to paint parties um, and you haven't been able to go in a while, this is another way to kind of still have that feeling of being at a paint party. So I know some of y'all are on here watching me and you actually have your trees and you're creating with me. And then some of y'all will order your tree with just putting tree link. Hey, Stephanie Wolf. Um, hey, Melinda. And so what you can do is um, you can go back to this video, save this video or message, like share this video to your messenger. So then that way, when you order your tree, then you can come back and watch it. So if you need to see the ombre technique, see how it goes from the, the lighter green to the darker. You can do that ombre technique and watch it later. Um, oh, that's awesome, Melinda. She said, I just found a guy close to me who is pouring from molds from 70s and 80s. I bet he has some cool stuff. Um, and then Tina says, I painted ceramics all the time in the 70s and the Boys and Girls Club, and I have a few left. It was a very fulfilling hobby. Yeah, it is it is so much fun. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty this one's looking. Ah, I just want to grab it and show y'all, but it's still very, very wet. Let me get a little bit of a darker turquoise on that. Hold on one second. I want a little bit of a darker. I have snowmen everywhere. I have snowmen all over this art studio. Hold on, y'all. I want just a. Ooh, maybe this will work. Let me see if this is going to work. Okay, so this is a teal, a metallic teal. And I'm going to see, hey, Debbie. Oh, thanks, Diana. Oh, yeah, this is going to be good. Okay, so let me make sure my hands are dry because I'm picking up this and it's wet. So now I'm going to use this darker. Oh, yeah, that's what we want. So whether you're doing the green, you're doing turquoise, whether you're doing just pure white, whether you're making it a Halloween tree, like you can literally do, you could actually, if you have a fan, like somebody's like a big football fan or I don't know, baseball fan or soccer fan, you could actually paint it the colors of the, um, oh, you know, it'd be so cute 
if you painted it the colors of like a NFL team or whatever like sport, maybe they're in their own sport, then you could like make a little flag come out the top instead of the star and have like a little bit of like their logo or maybe their jersey number. So it could actually be like something kind of more sentimental, you know? That's the thing about art, which I love, is I love, 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 love taking things like this and then figuring out how you can bring it to the next step where it makes it sentimental. And um, how many of y'all on here? Um, oh, wow, Susan, that's awesome. And um, how many of y'all on here? And welcome, Deborah. She's new from Alabama. Welcome. How many of y'all on here have um, have made Christmas gifts for your Christmas, right? So I am a huge, huge person who loves giving gifts that I've made. Um, I'm actually working on something right now. I'm gonna put a little bit more of that lighter green to give it more of an ombre effect. Um, but right now I'm working on a gift for, I'm not gonna say who, <laughs> just in case they see this. Um, but I'm working on a gift right now. And what I like to do is I love to kind of have um, a way that I can personalize it even more. So for those of you that, you know, you're like me, where you create gifts for people, you know, maybe you do something like this. I want you to think about like, how could you take it a next step? Okay. Oh, Julie, that's awesome. She says she makes most of her gifts every year. Yeah. Sometimes it gets to a point where you're like, I don't know what to buy people, you know? And then if you know, they love something really cool, then you can make something really cool for them. Okay. So what I'm going to do on this one, this big hunk of tree, I'm actually going to just put a, a white coat on it and then I'm going to, I'm going to see if the white coat even matters. Let's test this out because I might, what might be kind of cool if the white coat doesn't matter is I might go straight to glitter and then do the, um, do glitter and then do the gold just to test it. Um, yeah, it matters a little. Let me show y'all. This is the big guy. It matters a little, not a lot. Oh, that is so cool. Brenda said, I did them back in the day. Now she's making them as gifts. Awesome. Yeah, anytime. I think it's just, you know, it just means more sometimes whenever it's something that, that you made versus like, oh, I just bought this and now I'm getting blah, blah, blah. You know, like, I don't know. There's sometimes like stuff that people will make that just, I mean, I've gotten gifts from, from some of y'all even that I, I will cherish forever. Like somebody made this for me. I don't, let me see if I can get it down. Hold on. I think I got to get on the chair. It's right here. I have a, a bunch of fun stuff y'all made me, but this was one I have up here. And it's from when we went to Dollywood. And see how she put the logo. I just love this so, so much. I love it. And so this is like a 3D piece, but I just, I keep it right here in my art studio so I can, so I can see it. So yeah, so things like that, that are so meaningful and um, that people will cherish. So yeah, if you're wanting to make one of these, but make it like colors, not just the traditional, but make it something that's going to be maybe a favorite football team or something like that, that they could put it out. That would be pretty awesome. And all you have to do is put tree link and then we'll, we'll put it in there later. We'll put the link where you can purchase and they'll ship straight to you. Padre Island. Awesome, Debbie. Nebraska. Hi, Eva. Hey, Dana. Dana's going to get herself a tree. Who's gonna Who's gonna get a tree and make and show me once you've painted it? And um, a lot of times y'all paint stuff with me, and then I'll get like y'all go to my Instagram and send me. So if you have not followed me on Instagram, please do. We just hit five thousand. I was so excited. It's um Texas Art and Soul underscore, and um what I'll get from Instagram a lot of times is your pictures of your finished products, or like we just did that snowman recently. And a bunch of y'all um, tagged me in your stories. And so I was able to take some of y'all's and add them to my story. I love doing that. So if you are, um, if you're a person who 
paints with me, please share. I love seeing what you create. It's so awesome. Okay, so this white is definitely, I'm gonna take a seat. This is gonna take a minute. I'm gonna need some water. This water's definitely not okay. Let me see if I can find a, let me use a little bit of a thinner white. This is a, um, so Craft Smart is a little bit of a thinner paint. So I love the Deco Art paint better, um, but I'm just using a mixture of both right now. So it's a little bit of, it's a little bit more watery. And then I don't have to um, put water with it. <laughs> it just does it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this white on here. And another idea too would be to have a pearl white. If you have a pearl white, if you added that on here with the gold tips, it'd be super pretty. And then also another idea. I need y'all's ideas. I have so many ideas. I'm so glad I get to talk to y'all tonight <laughs> because y'all, I love my family with all my heart, but just talking to my daughter and my husband, they get tired of my stories and I just get so excited to talk to y'all. So please forgive me for all of my, my um, exciting, excitedness of wanting to talk to you. Um, but another fun idea is to paint them all like the same and then to put them together. So um, originally I was going to do that because I'm doing kind of like a staged picture with a painting with a painting I had done um, a few months back that some of y'all had seen me do live and um, the painting with all the trees. I don't know if y'all saw that. Um, oh, thank you, Debbie. Sherry says, I finally got my tree painted. You showed us a couple months ago and I posted the pic on Texas Art and Soul page. I got a lot of sweet compliments on it. Thank you, Heidi. Oh, you're so welcome. Um, yeah, so it's really fun to like paint several and then put them together. And I saw like an interior decorator magazine. Apparently it's all the rage to put these trees out all over for your Christmas decor. Um, I knew it was kind of, you know, an on-trend thing, but I didn't realize that the interior decorators were using it for selling their furniture. And <laughs> they had them all over the place. I was like, this is so cool. I think I have it somewhere. I'll have to grab it and show y'all in a minute. Okay, who's got their music cranked up? If not, I'm going to sing. Da -da -da. No, I'm not going to sing. I promise. I won't sing because y'all would leave me and I don't want that. Okay, so if you get paint in one of the holes, just stab it with a paintbrush. No harm, no foul. I'm trying to think what good shows. Oh my gosh, have y'all seen the Queen's Gamut yet? It is so good. Oh my gosh, if you, yeah, if you want a tree, just put tree link. Um, and crank the music um, and then let us know. I need a good Netflix series to watch. So we just finished um, a few weeks back the Queen's Gamut. If you have not seen that, oh, thank you, Tande. And um, hey, Sherry. Hey, Suzanne. And yeah, she said crank the music. Um, if you have not seen the Queen's Gamut, now it's about chess and I am not a chess player. And I loved that show so so much yes sandy says she binged it i'm telling you like who would think i mean please forgive me if you're a chess player but this artsy brain is not a chess person and so um when i, wa I was like oh i'm gonna be bored out of my mind and then i was like i can't stop watching this i gotta watch all of it in one night i mean we didn't it took a few it took about a week or so but it was so, so good. I kept staying up really late to watch the whole thing. Um, it was so good, y'all. So if you haven't seen that, that is a super good show. And then um, we started The Virgin River. Um, I'm, I'm thinking that's going to be cute, but I'm not really sold on it that much. Um, one of my favorite Netflix series, if y'all have never seen it, is called The Heart of Dixie, and it's spelled H-A-R-T. Um, Oh my gosh, if you have not watched The Heart of Dixie, it is so cute. I mean, like, I cried when it ended because I just did not want it to end. I was like, please, please don't end. 
So yeah, if y'all have any good recommendations, please let me know in the comments. I will definitely go back to, to check them out because um, I would love to have some kind of fun, good series to watch over the next couple of months. Me and Bobby are always trying to find a series that we'll both like because he's more into sci-fi and I'm not. <laughs> and so we're always trying to find a series that we'll both enjoy um, so that we can watch it together because we kind of have different tastes in most of our TV. Like I said, he's a big sci-fi nerd and I'm kind of like not, not as much into it as, as he is. Some of this stuff's okay, but I don't really love it as much as he does. Um, oh, Linda binge watched Virgin River. Heard of Dixie, couldn't believe it was over. I know, Linda. That's how I felt. I was so sad. I was like, this can't end. Um, let's see. Um, Heartland. Oh, I haven't seen that yet. Is it good, Amanda? Brenda says, I've already started painting a board to go across my mantle like the one you did. Oh, good, Brenda. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I want to get three of these painted so I can do some pictures for um, Paint Party Headquarters, too. Some little images um, with that mantle. Um, Heartland is a great series, Melody says. Yeah, I'm going to have to check it out. Okay, so we have the white on here. I'm going to let this dry a minute, and now I'm going to move back to my green. Now, my green has already started getting some of the white because of what I was just doing, but that's okay. Cause I'm going to still use white and I'm going to start putting this on the tips. Okay. So you can do this a couple different ways. You can put paint on it first and let it dry. Or if you have snow text, you can actually add snow text. So let me bring this up so y'all can see it a little bit closer. Man, everybody loves Heartland. I'm going to have to go check that out when I get off of here. Heartland. Huh? I haven't heard of it. Okay, so we got that going. Oh, Yellowstone. I don't know if y'all seen Yellowstone, but that is so good. That was really, really good. I don't think there's any new ones now, but if you catch up on it, it was a really good show with Kevin Costner, but I love Kevin Costner. Okay, so getting those on here. Okay, can y'all see that? Am I showing y'all? So I'm just getting right here on the edges and I'm actually gonna add in some snow text and glitter. And if you're doing this at home, you could do the spray glitter, but I'm gonna show you another type of glitter I like to use too. And again, those of y'all that are wanting to order, just go ahead and type tree link, tree link, and we'll post, we only have the 13 inch left and it's 55 and does include shipping. So shipping's included, and we're shipping them out this week. So um, so $55 and includes shipping in the United States. Um, I'm watching Yellowstone now. Love it and hard to stop watching. <laughs> Sandy says, I know. Oh, Suzanne, you live close to there? It is so freaking beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Um, Heartland, it's a Canadian ranch family series. I'll have to check that out. I'll have to check that out for sure. I know it sounds like a lot of y'all like that show. Definitely got to check that out. Okay, I'm going to let this dry for a minute. So now we got our green tree going. Our turquoise tree, we can add white for the snow. I'm going to show you how to do snow text without adding white first on that one. And then in a second, I'm going to add the gold to there. So let me show you snow text. Let me show you the glitter and let me show you the gold. So we can do my favorite gold, which is 24 karat, or we can do the champagne gold. Y'all know which one I love. Which one would y'all like? Um, oh, good, Linda. You're going to be painting away. Or have you already painted them? Pam says Heartland was really good. Dang, I've got to get on that. Okay, let's see. Oh, Donna, um, in Paint Party Headquarters, go to media. In Paint Party Headquarters, go to media, and you'll see it in the albums. Um, okay, so this is the, the glitter. The Craft Twinkle is my favorite. And then this, I have champagne gold or 
the 24 karat gold that I can use. So let me know. I'm always using 24 karats. So let me know if you want to see me use a different gold. Um, oh, Linda, once you paint them, girl, you should have painted them with me tonight. <laughs> you could have painted it with me. Let me see if I have some more champagne because that one's almost out. Hold on. I think I do. I have glorious gold. Oh, yeah, I think I have enough. Wait, hold on. Champagne gold. Yep, found it. Okay. Okay, so champagne gold. We're getting a lot of champagne. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay, Linda. You have to you have to come back and paint it with me, and we'll pretend like I'm there live at that time. So <laughs> we'll just pretend we'll pretend I was there live. Okay, so I'm gonna rinse my brush. See if it rinses enough. My water is pretty gross. Um, yeah, Stacy, good. Yeah, just put tree link if you want to be able to order one. And then, like I said, we're going to ship out this week. So this champagne gold, I'm going to add this to this big one, okay? Like I said, we're just, ooh, I think I like. Okay, can y'all see that from there? If not, I'll try to lift it. Because I'm, I'm doing three different ways for the edges so y'all can see the different variations of what you can do. Let me see. Um, let me know if you can. Oh, Angela, they're 15. I'm not 15. They're 55 include shipping. Um, but all I have is the 13 inch, which goes to about here. And it's this style. So it's pretty significant. And um, we're out of the 18 inch and we're out of the 11 inch. But the 13 inch is, um, this one right here is about... This one's 18, so it goes to about here. So it's, it's a pretty massive tree. And that's the one I have. So if you put tree link, we'll get the link to you. And then if you're watching this as a replay and we sold out, um, we'll let you know that it's sold out. So, so you won't get the link. <laughs> if you get the link and it lets you buy, that means you can get it. If you get the link, or if we get the, if you say tree link and we're not able to buy, we'll say it. No, can see. Oh, you can see. Okay, good. I was going to say, I can probably move some of these around too. Oh, yeah. Let me see if I can get this sucker up here. It's massive, so I don't want to drop it. But all I'm doing is just taking this champagne gold <laughs> and just dabbing it on the edges. And then I'm probably going to order some clear lights from Amazon to put on here. You can do the colored lights that come with it, but sometimes it's nice to have clear, depending on what kind of decor you're going for. Yeah, I don't use much of this champagne. I'm glad y'all said that, I like it. This would be kind of cool too, to do this color is the base and then it would also be kind of cool to do um this on the turquoise wouldn't that be kind of neat to do the edges i'm going to do snow but now that i'm thinking about it this might be kind of fun what do y'all think champagne on the turquoise or should i go snow text champagne or snow text for the turquoise tree Okay, so for those of y'all that are out there doing paint parties, um, we have a couple paint parties this week, and it has changed a little, right? Right? I mean, we got to be real. It's definitely changed a little the way we get together, um, but there's nothing more rewarding than being like there painting with y'all in person and seeing how you create yours. Like there's something so fun about that. I'm so excited 
Friday, I have a couple of different paint parties on Friday. And of course we have to do, you know, some social distancing, some work in the office together. So they're beside each other every day. So that's a little bit different, but we have to do things a little bit, a little bit differently, of course. Um, so for those of y'all that do teach paint parties like I do, it is a little different, isn't it? Oh my gosh, snow text. <laughs> I think we have a, oh my gosh, I love that. Ah, that is so exciting. It's so pretty, I love it. Okay, so snow text, snow text, a bit of both. Champagne, almost everybody, snow text, silver. Yeah, Vicki, we can post the Amazon link for the clear lights for sure. <laughs> I want to buy one of those trees so bad, but I know my kittens will kill this tree. <laughs> yeah, you might need to um, put it up high for sure. <laughs> if you order one, definitely put it up high. So I'm going to take this base and I'm going to make it the champagne, the same color as I did the edges, okay? And I've seen people make the bases super cute, like really, really cute, like with um, almost like zen tangles and stuff like that. I'm just going to put some straight on there, too. Yeah, this might be, this might be fun to put somewhere else, too. That's champagne. Oh, I may have fallen in love with another, another gold. You know, those of y'all that watch me a lot, you know, glitter and 24 karat gold paint is like my favorite. But now, this, I don't know if it's showing up as much on camera, but in person, it is so stinking beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. This is going to be the base of this one. So the big one, so we got the base for the big one. So that right there, okay? And then this, let me see, is our base for our turquoise. So since we're going to do snow text, I'm going to just do the base and I'm going 24 karat gold, people. <laughs> going 24 karat gold. Okay. So I'm just going to squirt straight on there. And then y'all can see why I love this so much. It's like, looks like real gold. Which, I mean, I don't even think I own real gold, to be honest with you. I mean, my wedding ring that doesn't fit anymore. These are my, my rings now. So this was, um, Bobby got this from the Renaissance Fair um, as our one of our anniversary gifts. Because my I got married so young. I got married two weeks after I turned 18. And so, obviously, I'm 41 now. <laughs> so, obviously, my, my ring does not fit anymore. It's too, um, too small. And so, um, I've grown a little since I was 18. Um, oh yeah. 24 karat is my favorite. Thanks to you. That's awesome. Vicki says, I love the champagne. I use it all the time. I love the pewter also. Oh yeah. The pewter is so, so pretty. Um, so yeah, so the ring that's, I think that in my wedding band is the only thing I have that's real gold. Um, so that, maybe that's why I love the paint so much, because it's 24 karat. Well, not for real, but you know, looks like it. And I love, love gold jewelry. All of it's fake, but I love it. Okay, so there's that. That's going to go for this. And then I'm going to show you all how to do some glitter and snow text. Is that okay with you? And um, Candace says, since I am new to watching you, you are great. May I ask what type of brushes you are using and recommenders recommend what to buy? Yes, that is a great question. So this is like a one and a half inch chip brush. And um, this is like a two inch chip brush. You can get these at Lowe's, at Michael's, pretty much anywhere, Walmart, whatever. And um, Diana, you're with me too. <laughs> um, and then this one, same thing, Lowe's, Michael's, whatever. These are super cheap. So I love these, especially when I'm doing stuff like this or I'm doing, how many of y'all saw? Oh, I don't have it in here. I don't think I have it. No, I have it downstairs because I love it so much. Um, how many of y'all saw my, um, well, of course you wouldn't, Candace, because you're new to me, but um, you'll have to go back and look. I have some really cute snowman paintings I just recently did. And I love using these big brushes. 
And then I love like this one inch flat. And then I have like a round brush I usually get. You can get any of these kind of like at, at Michael's and stuff like that. Um, have you made your snow text since you sold out, since it's sold out everywhere? So I I still have snow text from last year. And actually we have snow text at our stores and um, not, not everywhere. You'll get lucky. So every time I go into a Michael's, a Walmart, a Hobby Lobby, um, I go straight to the paint <laughs> and I buy if I'm out of paint or if I need paint. Like right now, I definitely need white paint for my party on, um, on Friday, I have two parties on Friday and I definitely need some white paint. So, um, so what I do is I, you know, as soon as I go into one of those craft stores, I definitely buy when I'm in there. And um, this is snow tech. So I have some snow techs, but you can make your own. So if anybody has a good recommendation of how to make their own, I've heard people using sand to make it. I've heard all different kinds of stories. So if you want to share, if you have a recipe, um, I'm sure people in the comments would love that, especially if you don't have it in your store. Because Amazon, believe it or not, jacked it up. Like, they definitely, Vicki says, I was lucky to have the, the snow text and found it. Oh, thank you, Kristen. She saw the, the snowman. Um, that snowman, I think it's gone viral now. It's, um, it's gotten almost 2 million views just in a week. It's crazy. So if you haven't seen it yet, definitely, definitely go check it out. And then um, for those of you that are wanting to do this as a business, you're wanting to learn more about how to do this kind of stuff as a business, um, you'll have to, to check me out on my Texas Art and Soul page or, or go, to, um, go to my Instagram page. I have a ton of free gifts there for you. So if you go to Instagram, Texas Art and Soul underscore, tons of free gifts in the link, the link of the bio link thing. Um, and then you can get notified of some cool stuff coming up. Okay, so I got a little snow text in the light. So again, I'm just going to use this. And I always recommend when I'm teaching y'all and teaching people in person to always get that snow text out while it's not dry. Okay, so I just like to use my finger <laughs> because I love, love to um, finger paint and Feel the texture, so I just go straight on there with my finger. Let's see. I'm gonna try to make it. Oh, just don't know what is best. Yeah, somebody said they need some snow text for parties this weekend. So I have heard sand and glue um, works well. And this really feels like sand and glue, honestly. Um, so yeah, so if you're if you're trying to make your own. Um, sand and glue or if somebody else has some uh, good ideas but and you can if you're not by a beach or you know a place that has sand and um, a lot of times you can buy that at craft stores too so definitely oh Vicki says she has a recipe she'll find it thank you Vicki yeah um yeah if you want to post that Vicki that'd be awesome I'm sure people would really appreciate that and then for those of you that are interested, just, you know, kind of watch the comments. Oh, thank you. I know I'm so excited for this little setup of trees. In a second, I'll show you the background that I'm going to try to stage some photos on. So I did a mural, kind of like a, not a mural mural, but a pretty big piece a few weeks back for this purpose. So I could have my trees in front of them with different different kinds of colors. I'm actually going to try to get, I'll get real quick. If y'all want me to, it, I'll, it'll be up to y'all. If y'all want me to, I will. I have some other trees painted and right behind me in the attic here. And if you want me to grab them just so you can see what other kinds I've done, I can, I don't mind getting those out because I think I have a solid gold one. If you want to see what that would look like. Because sometimes you just want to see it before you like go full force. And then also, again, like I said, I get so excited when I'm on here with y'all because I just want to talk to you and tell you about everything. Um, so sometimes you just got to mute me. If you get sick of hearing me, just mute me and put on your music. Um, but another fun thing is, um, sorry, had that on there. Um, 
another fun thing is just thinking about where you're going to put this. So a lot of times it's not about having like this way overkill painted tree. Sometimes you just need the basics. And then when you go put it with whatever you're putting it with, your little decor, because a lot of y'all are super creative at, at um, decorating your house. I've seen some of y'all's trees. They're so cool. And um, so, yeah, definitely make sure um, you're thinking about like where it's going to sit, you know, because like if this is sitting by a bunch of stuff, I might not need a lot of different stuff on here. You know, I might not need a ton of stuff. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add some glitter and then show y'all what it looks like with the base. And then if y'all want to see, you're entirely too cute to ever mute. <laughs> Thank you, G. <laughs> okay, and if y'all want to see some of those other trees, I'll try to get them out. Um, I'll try to get that gold one out if y'all want to see it. Oh, thank you, Linda. She says, thank you for sharing the crafts. You do a really good job. Oh, you're so welcome. I have so much fun painting with y'all. Y'all don't understand. Um, I just appreciate y'all. Y'all always hanging out with me. Okay, so I'm using this glitter. And then I'm going to just show you what it looks like right here. Ooh, super cute. Okay, can y'all see that? Did you know that you can print the text, snow text? Is that what you're saying, Linda? If that's what you're saying, I did not know that. Oh, good, Vicki's got a recipe. If anybody wants um, the recipe, you might want a screenshot so you can get the recipe. She's putting it in the comments right now. She says, I took a plaster of Paris, half a cup of glue, half a cup of white paint, half a cup of glitter. Ooh, very pretty. I did learn the finer the glitter, the better it looked. Hope you like it. Have a happy day. Oh, that is awesome. Thank you, Vicki. Thanks for sharing. Okay, so I'm just adding this glitter. And then a lot of times, too, when you add this glitter like this, my paint's getting re-wet, so it's still a little bit wet. And sometimes you don't even have to do the spray poly because it'll be shiny, which is kind of cool. So there's that. Yes, I love, love the glitter. Remember, guys, if you're new and you want to order yours, um, go ahead and put tree link, tree link, and we'll come back either today or tomorrow or the next day, and we'll give you the link for it. So be sure to check your notifications. And then let's see what these bases look like on here. So I got my gold. Oh, that is very wet. Hold on. Let me try my other one first. I'm going to have to move this out of the way. We're getting, we're getting very, very closed in here. Okay, so this one, oh, I love it, and then you put all the lights in it, and then this is the 11 inch, it comes with the base, so you could paint that a different color, obviously, and then this one is the gold, and I'm going to try to lift this. And then the light kits go under. So then the lights go under and then you put the lights in it. So the star, the light, all of that in it. Um, so yeah, so let me see if I can grab that gold real quick. Hold on one second. While y'all are grabbing Vicky's snow text recipe, I'm gonna see if I can find my there she is. Okay, so this is the size, the 13 inch. So you can see the size that you'll be getting, the difference. And then let me show you the gold, so if you want to paint yours gold. Ooh, 
have to be very careful walking with these because if you're not careful, you'll end up falling and getting your eye with that star, man. That thing is intense. Can y'all see the gold? Let me see if I can get this off here and show y'all. Sorry about that. Okay, so let me show you all these different trees, okay? So this is the white with the, I did the champagne tips and then I did the champagne on the bottom. And um, this is an ombre that I did with the gold bottom and then I just ombre it up all the way up to the top. And then here is a turquoise version with the gold bottom. And then this one's full on gold. I want to get this to where it has all clear. So I'm going to get some more clear lights for that. And then it has a gold bottom as well. And then this is just an ombre with the lighter green at the top all the way to the bottom. So, um, so yeah, so that was fun. And um, let me know in the comments if you like this. And then if you want to order your own, just put tree link. We'll go back over um, tonight, tomorrow, and go ahead and post the links you can purchase. Again, if the link... If we're like, we're sold out, we'll just put sold out. If it's there, we'll give you the link. So just make sure you order it. And then um, have some fun. Have some fun painting. Maybe get your, your friends and family involved. Maybe get your granddaughter or your daughter involved. And then every year you could put them out. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments if you did. Um, I appreciate so much um, having y'all here to paint a bunch of trees with me. That was so much fun. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.